That is freaking awesome. We're going to be diving into details about this Tom Clancy's Division diorama, as you can see it right here on my desk. Uh, but hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Oprah Games, and did you really think I forgot about the Division? Hell no. So we've got an entire news update for you guys right here on Open World Games. Uh, of course, if this video ends up being a little bit long, go ahead and use the video guide in the description below. Uh, and then also later on, as always, I'm going to go over your top comments. So submit your comments down below. But yes, you'll notice right over here on my desk is a brand new edition. It is a diorama of the division. A very special thank you and shout out to Tokyo Joe for sending this to me. He's one of my fans and he's also a fan, a fanatic I should say, of the division just like me. And man oh man, he did a hell of a job on this diorama. As you can see, the detail is extraordinary in this thing. We've got two cleaners patrolling the streets of New York City, looking for anyone that is infected, ready to spread fiery devastation across the city. And then, of course, we've got our agent pinned down. Doesn't know what to do. Usually the ideal situation with this, if, if you are alone and you're facing cleaners, you need to run. But looking at this diorama, you can see the amazing amounts of detail. Look at the truck. You know, look at the cleaners. Look at these details uh, with the agent. Even the agent's uh, communication device uh, lights up, which is spectacular. That is just an awesome addition. So you can check out Tokyo Joe actually right on Twitter. Please be sure to visit him. Tell him his diorama is awesome, then also check out his other works. But again, Tokyo Joe, thank you so much for sending this to me. It means the world to me, seriously. It is really cool, and I really do dig it. We don't have any new footage. I'm going to be staring at this thing for hours. So finally, we can debunk some rumors just because they have not happened. So remember Shinobi? He went on and on on Twitter about how we would be seeing an Xbox One beta for the Division in March. Well, March is about done and over with. We have not seen that Xbox One beta at all. Uh, so that rumor is smashed. It's false. But it's going to be interesting to see if his rumor about it coming first to the Xbox One pans out. Now, I actually do think that could actually happen uh, simply because of Ubisoft's and Microsoft's relationship. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the Division ended up on the Xbox One first in terms of a beta only, of course. Uh, so maybe we will see something like that, but no official announcement about a beta. Again, Ubisoft is extremely interested in doing extensive public tests for the division though. Still across my fingers that we get a beta in mid to late summer. So a clever Reddit user asked a really interesting question. I'm going to include the post down below so you can actually comment on it if you want to. Uh, but he went on to say, will Rainbow Six uh, Siege's release date influence the Division and will the actual game influence the Division? Now, this is very interesting to me because, you know, last year in 2014, Ubisoft just released Far Cry 4. They released Assassin's Creed Unity and then also the crew all within a very short span, which I always thought was just like crazy. I was like, what is going on? I think it's wiser to space them out just a little bit but when you're talking about racing games uh versus shooters you know versus sort of a platform or parkour game you don't have over saturation they're not all shooters you know what i mean they're not really all competing with each other when you have a racing game versus a shooter you're always going to have an audience that's going to buy that racing game no matter what they're not going to go after the shooter they're, they just love racing games so Ubisoft, I felt like they knew what they were doing with those releases. Now, with Rainbow Six Siege and The Division, they're both basically pretty much shooters. So oversaturation is a little bit of a worry here, I would think, in terms of marketing. So I do not believe they will want to release them together simultaneously. So, you know, if Rainbow Six does come out first, it would be extremely interesting if they decided to delay The Division and have, you know, an offer that said, hey, get Rainbow Six Siege and get access to the Division Beta. You know, historically, we have seen this from games, you know, Crackdown when it came out first, 
uh, it was boxed with the Halo 3 beta. We've seen this many, many times, so I wouldn't be surprised if something like this could happen. Of course, I wouldn't like this. I don't want to have to be forced into buying a product. I do think Rainbow Six Siege looks pretty cool and looks interesting, of course, so I'm definitely probably going to be getting it, so there's no worries there, but what do you guys think about a strategy like this? Would you like to see uh, the beta box with Rainbow Six Siege? Do you think you would be interested in Ra Rainbow Six Siege even more if that happened? And uh, do you think it is wise to be releasing Rainbow Six Siege alongside the Division simply because of oversaturation? But please do let me know what you guys think. But you know about delays and stuff like that, I would expect them to release it when they are ready. Of course, their official word is 2015, 365 days within this year. Of course, that's going to be a lot less than that now that we are in 2015. Uh, but uh, there's two things that they have said, 2015 and when it's ready. And I really do think that that slogan, when it's ready, is going to be king for Ubisoft Massive this time around. So MyDivision.net went on to ask, how will you be playing Tom Clancy The Division? And this is how you guys responded. So it appears 66% of you will go it alone or in a squad. 22% of you will stay in the same squad only. And then 10% of you will play the game as a complete dedicated single player experience it appears and then two percent of you will experience the game with changing squads only so i believe that just means you will see different uh squad members rotating throughout the journey now again this poll uh is german translated i believe so it's a little bit difficult to understand what they mean by in changing squads only but guys i want to ask you uh use the poll down below it's going to be a straw poll uh, how you are going to be playing the division will you be playing co-op pvp a, as a single player game and how you would like to experience the game so get to it get to voting down below it's my favorite time your top comments be sure to submit your top comments down below for a chance for them to end up in the video so our first one comes from dmd hannafin and he goes on to say your swag level went up by one million so many zeros when you put on that balcava you should wear it in every video do this <gasps> i put it on wrong <gasps> swag bitches and hoes oh there we go i comfortable really another one why yes and ahmad awada asks Will there be an area where survived NPCs will live in as a shelter? Well, yes, I do believe these will be the base of operations. There's no confirmation that you can actually take NPCs back there or something like that. But you will be finding NPCs along your journeys and you will be meeting them definitely in the base of operations. These are going to be stadiums in other buildings found throughout the game world. And there's even going to be faction buildings, which probably are going to also act as base of operations. So, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of NPCs in the game world. NPCs everywhere. Time to challenge myself and to read this one in total darkness. Solardi asks, what about a drone and playing on tablets? Kind of unique feature that sadly no one talks about much are they still going to be implementing it or have they canceled it thanks for the response no problem i always love reading your guys comments but the drone is still very much alive in and well you know in the angry joe interview he did ask about he said is this technology really working is it going to work and you know the creative director ryan bernard went on to say yes it is working as i sit here people are actually playing with the drone app you know you will be able to upgrade your drone there's going to be certain abilities you can actually level up it's going to be sort of its own game and you can actually see the game world which is just incredible it seems like this out of this world technology so i cannot wait to actually play it for myself it's one case where i'm actually really curious about the companion app and you know i never mess around with the companion app so this one looks special
So guys, it's the end of the video. Bummer, but of course you can expect more news about the division and swag level plus one million over here apparently. But guys, you can of course find us right here on YouTube. We are Open World Games and we cover games like The Division, Assassin's Creed Victory, and so much more. We cannot wait for The Division. I just want a game that is working at launch. So when it is ready, I will be ready and I'm sure you guys will too. So you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated. And guys, please leave your comments and questions below because they may end up in the video. And again, thank you so much, Tokyo Joe, for the amazing diorama of The Division. It is badass. Remember, guys, please do check out Tokyo Joe on Twitter. He has some awesome stuff, so please check the link in the description. And again, guys, thank you, and I will see you in Mid-Crisis, New York City. Oh, you better believe it.